Well, this guy was simply sublime in the short. Can he do it again? Joshua Farris has put a, a little bit of pressure on him. But, of course, he had a, a healthy cushion after the short. The 21-year-old from Almaty in Kazakhstan. This is Dennis Ten. Two quads scheduled in Dennis's program. First in combination. I think he was too near the barrier to put the second part of the combination in, but maybe he will next. Second quad scheduled now. There it was, quad toe, triple toe. after the huge opening elements do a level four spin and a lovely transition. Triple axel, double toe. Had to fight to get that. Step out of that triple axel. Triple loop, triple salco in combination and sequence. Motoring now.
Well, you can see from the caption there, he's nailed it as far as the technical is concerned. Boundless energy, supreme commitment. Dennis Ten makes sure that he is the four continents champion. Love the way the routine was put together, the energy in it, the power in it. Good job he didn't do the quad in combination on the first one because he would have been through that barrier. So, but the composure to realize the adrenaline may be going a little bit too fast. You get a little bit too close to the barrier on the landing, decided obviously not to take off. Get the breathing right, put it in as the second one. However that happened, it all worked. And then the spin after that, that opening section was... Uh, worth 26 marks in its own right. Joshua Farris on the left, Jan Han, they know that they're going to be on the podium, but not at the top of it. That's for this guy. I have to say, I didn't enjoy the routine as much as I did Joshua Farris. I just thought there were moments where he was looking down at the ice, really spotting his landing for his jumps. And it was a little bit frenetic at times. Having said that, there were other times when it was beautiful and the technical content was there for all to see. Yeah, the emotional depth of Joshua Farris's routine was something quite special. And at times, I'd agree with you, this, it didn't have this, but it had a different feel to it. The music worked as the, the backdrop to the overall style. Very difficult off the inside spread to get the change of angle into the triple axle, making it as hard for himself as possible. But holding on to the landing, so credit for the jump, credit of execution will be just off, maybe a minus one. Well, it's a confidence-building routine, as was the short, and as will be the results going into the World Championships. And I like the energy at the end. Sometimes you can put a bit of music on the end like that and it, it jars, but in this instance it worked well to build the excitement with the crowd, lift him a bit, and the spins at the end, the step sequence, all worked brilliantly to it. Well, there's confirmation. He won the men's event by some 29 points, winning the short and the long. Joshua Farris takes second place. What a performance from him. Yan Han takes the bronze medal just ahead of Daisuke Murakami from Japan. Disappointing for Mura and Murakami, but Shoma Uno, he's the one to watch. Couldn't get on the podium, but uh, he is a fabulous talent.